Bishop David Oyedepo, Chancellor of Landmark University, Omuaron Kwara, on Friday, June 18, 2021, called for urgent steps to check students' unfettered access to social media. We must wake up from our slumber to deal with this monster. It unconsciously robs people of their future by robbing them of their time, Oyedepo said at the seventh convocation of the institution. He was speaking on combating the challenge of education without integration. This social media saga has eroded the substance of destiny of most youths today. What is supposed to be a plus has suddenly become a major minus. This is because everything of value delivers true investment of time. Suddenly, we are faced with a generation on the wrong side of history. The honor of this generation has been wiped off. The founder of Living Faith Church Worldwide said, Oyedepo stressed that social media content that did not add value should be restricted. They chat all day with no time left to think, plan, program, and engage productively in the pursuit of any tax. Many youths spend less than 10 to 20% of their time on their tax per day. They can never match a generation that spent 70% to 80% of their time on their tax. We must devise means to put a check on free access to social media, particularly those that are not adding values, he insisted. Oyedeko advised parents of the graduating students to give them free hand to develop themselves to become self-sufficient and self-reliant. Give your sons, daughters, or wives the opportunity to develop their wings, and I know that many will soar much higher than their parents, he said. In a keynote address, Mr. Afonsus Iyang, Group Managing Director of a private company expressed the need for the country to pursue and promote agriculture that is knowledge-driven and fully mechanized. The reason why we are not making any headway in agriculture in Nigeria, unlike in the Netherlands, is that agricultural practices and processes there are highly mechanized, technology and knowledge-driven. Outdated methods of agriculture, such as the use of hoes and cutlasses, reduce efficiency and these methods are not only costly, they are time-consuming, he said. He argued also that agricultural practices of old contributed to health problems later in life. The university's vice-chancellor, Professor Adeniyi Olayanju, said at the occasion the institution migrated quite a number of its academic activities into online platforms to adapt to the new normal occasioned by the COVID-19 pandemic. In spite of this pandemic situation that foisted lockdown on the world, our faith and stake is driving continuous engagement with students and improvements in our services never changed. This was made possible by the huge investment of the proprietors into information technology infrastructures. And for this, we are immeasurably grateful, he said. 46 of the graduating students bad first class honors. From Lagos, this is Peace Mwabuko, News Express Nigerian Television.